I literally never know how I start my videos, so I stand here for about a good five minutes just trying to figure out what's going to happen. Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you've never been here before, my name is Emma Tamsin Hill and I make plus size fashion, girl talks, videos, beauty, vlogs, everything over here. It's a great time, why don't you join the family down there, subscribe, love, you won't regret it. Today we are doing another haul and we are hauling Pink Clove today. Now if you've never heard of Pink Clove, they are a British plus size brand. I think they go from about a size 16 to a 28. It's not our bell. So today's video is sponsored by Pink Clove. So thank you so much to them for sponsoring this video, gifting me these clothes. Let me do a review on these. Because I think I've, I've done one Pink Clove haul before. And this was about this time last year when I did all like the party season stuff. And that was good. So I'm excited for what we're gonna find this time. Obviously, I will still always give my 100% authentic opinion, even though this video is sponsored. If something's trash, it's trash, you know? A cow's a cow. What do they call it? Them sayings. If you put makeup on a pig, it's still a pig. A cow's a cow. A pig's a... I don't know. Let's just get on with it, alright? You know, you're just gonna have to excuse everything behind me because I'm packing. I'm going on holiday tomorrow. So, everything's a bit messy. So I'm in a different kind of setup. Hope you don't mind it. It might not stay like this. It probably won't. If you like the setup, let me know. I think I'm gonna go back to the other setup that I did in my last video. Anyway, I'm rambling about things that don't matter. Look at my nails, they look good, don't they? Yeah? All right, let's get into some clothes. So, I'm actually wearing the first item. This top is not from Pink Clothes, so let's ignore this for a second, okay? Mm -hmm. These are just like a striped black pair of pants. They have a little tie waist here. I'm pretty sure these are from the Pink Clove X, just on the plus size range. Just on the plus size. If you don't know who she is, you need to go and follow her right now. She does Instagram and she's so funny. She's from, from? She's from Newcastle. She's proper funny. She's right up for it. Love it. I got these in a 24 and they're, they're actually really nice. So they're nice and stretchy. I was scared when I was looking at them on site that they were going to be like that chiffony material that like does not move. So we thank God that it's not. My only issue is they have a hole in them. Can you see that? That's a little hole. And I'm absolutely gutted, because I want to wear these on holiday. <laughs> like, it kind of, it's, it's okay if I fold it over, and like whilst the belt's there. But if I'm honest with you, I don't think I would wear this belt with these trousers, just because it's kind of like riding up above the pants, which is annoying me, so I'm gonna take it off right now. Even the pants on their own, I just think they're really cute. Hopefully, you don't get a pair with a little hole in. Obviously, if you're ordering and you get something with a hole in, you can obviously send it back. But I just really like them. They're really, really nice and high-waisted. Cinching in my waist. Not gonna lie, my bum looks outrageous. It's like hugging the butt cheeks. Um, the squats are paying off in the gym, do you know what I mean? They're also nice and long as well. I think Jess said that these are long because she's like a lot shorter than me. <sighs> I'm gonna say it. I'm five foot eleven and I've got a long torso, so they fit perfectly on me. I think she said she had them taken up a bit, um, so you could always get these like tailored up, hemmed, but on me, they are going down to the floor. I feel like I'm doing ballet moves. Yeah, they're perfect length for me, so if you have long legs, they'll be great for you. I love it, other than the hole. I don't know, I'm gonna have to try and do something there. Maybe I'll just like try and sew it back together. Or like, if I was wearing a black, I think I would wear these pants with a black bodysuit. So if I was wearing a black bodysuit under these and you won't be able to see it, guess who's wore this? You're never gonna believe. Well, you might believe. So I'd seen the GC on Instagram wearing this and I just had to get it because <laughs> If the GC's wearing it, then obviously the ET's got to wear it. Crikey. Now I've taken it out of the packaging, I'm worried. I can't lie, I'm worried. Because it is chiffon material. So I've got this in a 24 again. And these are the pants. So it's like a two-piece set. Chiffon pants. Very long and flowy and pretty. And then we've got 
like a v-neck peplum top which is very cute so it's like long sleeve v-neck peplum and it's a nice little two-piece the top looks like it would fit me 100 percent the pants on the other hand i don't think that's going to get past my ass we can only try can't we let's go okay top is on now for the pants so they have a, a zip like a quarter zip down the side i'm really worried because there's absolutely no stretching these whatsoever uh, ah. Ah, it's tight. and i oh nah no 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 ow no help somebody help me oh my god this is really digging in now i feel like a pork chop the pants don't fit me and I'm going to have to take them off because I'm actually cutting blood supply to my hip right now. Put some different pants on because they weren't fitting. This is the top. Now, like I said, this is a chiffon material that has no stretch. Oh, actually, this has a, this bit has a bit of give in it, but the pants had no stretch, definitely. I really like this. I think it's really pretty. So it's just this like, I don't even know what colours you would call this, like orange and grey, orange and taupe kind of snake print the arms are nice and roomy if you're scared because you have big arms even though this material doesn't stretch they're definitely roomy this little peplum i haven't worn a peplum in so long i feel at like one time all you could buy in the plus size section was peplum tops thank god we got over that but i do like one every now and then because i feel like they just like cinch your waist in so i really like that i like the nice deep v as well you could wear a lovely little necklace with this this is the back it's a shame that the pants don't fit because i think as a two-piece like this will be very striking but if you're kind of scared of print the top on its own would be great for you they do sell them separately but it's funny really because i got them both in a 24 this is obviously roomy and the pants are way too tight like the, them pants i would say are definitely like a, a 22 if not a 20 so just be careful there if you have big hips I think the bigger size in this set is a 24, hence why I went for that one or else I would have gone for a bigger one. I like this, I think it's very pretty. But it's just a shame the pants don't fit. Mm, okay, next one. Whilst I've got these pants on, I might as well do a jumper because it's cold in England, all right? The weather has turned. It's cold, it's freezing, all right? So we need some knitwear. This again is from the Jess Pink Clove collection. Oh my God, it's so soft. Wow, this is like a blanket. Oh, this is so cute. Okay, so I got this in a size 22 slash 24. They do it in mustard as well, but I got this little nice purple mulberry color. It's definitely roomy for sure, considering it's a 22, 24. So it definitely runs oversized. This is like, I'm not gonna lie, this feels like a blanket in a jumper. It's so soft. Oh, yeah, it's a jumper. I don't really have much to say other than that it's really soft, oversized, roomy. If I'm gonna pick anything, the arms are a little bit short for me because I like to pull my arms down and like have them around my, around my hands. But obviously I am a longed, longed? Obviously I am a long limbed person. Nice thick neckline as well. It's like really thick. This is going to be so perfect in winter. It's not velvet, but it kind of looks like crushed velvet. But it's just a really soft knit. I love that. This is so pretty. We have a couple of polka dot dresses. There are quite a few like polka dot stuff on there. And I'm into polka dot, so here we go. I hope this fits me and it isn't too short. As you guys know, I struggle with things being way too short for me. You're going to have to excuse this because I've got a bra on and I really can't be bothered going to find a real bra to put on. But this is our next thing. Yeah. So let's talk about it. From the front, we're looking so cute. We're looking like we're going to a tea party. We're looking beautiful, even though it's a little bit short. Just like a satin dress, spaghetti strap, but then it has these little frills on the shoulders, which I think is a really cute touch. And then it crosses over here with frills on the skirt, but let me show you the back. Please don't laugh at my little bralettes <laughs> struggling in the back, but basically I can't zip it up. I think it's too small. This is a 24. So unless I got bigger, the sizing is small. 
I'm starting to see a pattern here. I think the sizing definitely runs small. Well, I say that and then the jumper was big. So, mm, in stuff that does not stretch, it runs small, like very small. So you really need to be careful with that and try and see the materials on the website. Hopefully they should have the materials of what is into it. If it's 100% like chiffon or polyester or I don't even know my materials, but if it ain't got no spandex or no, I've forgotten what the other one's called. If I, if I remember, I'll put it here. If it's got none of that, we gonna struggle. This would be very cute if it was a little bit longer and it actually zipped up. You win some, you lose some. Second polka dot piece. Here we go. I hate all this plastic packaging. I got this in a 26 because it, again, it is that satin material with no budge. So hopefully this will fit. Okay. Okay. Help. Okay. So this is our next piece. I am so into this. So like I said, I did get in a 26 and it fits perfectly for me. So I definitely think their stuff runs at least one size small because I'm usually a 24 in everything. It's just this brown polka dot jumpsuit. Has this kind of halter neck with this big, huge ruffle here, which I think is a really cute detail. The back is like this. I can't do it <laughs> up myself. I would need someone to assist me. I'm struggling. But it also has two buttons on the neck here that you would do up to make sure this is nice and tight downwards. It's just like a wide leg. Pant hits the f my ankles on me, so this is like the perfect length for me. I even think with like a cute little belt, it would be really nice just to cinch that in even further. I'm definitely gonna take this on holiday with me. I'm really into this, and I think they do this in a couple of other colors, maybe red and black as well. I just got the brown because I thought it would be something different. Love it, it's not clinging anywhere too much on the bum or on the tummy. Love it, very classy, I love this. Okay, so this is our next piece, again from the Jess Pink Clove collection. I love this, like I love the print, it's just this tiger print, it's just got like orange, black and white all over it, and I'm not even really into skirts like that, so this is very, very cute. This is very true to size, so I got a 24, Fits me perfectly, not too tight, nothing like that. Again, this has no stretch, it has a zipper at the back, but the fit is right, so I'm happy about that. So on me, it comes like mid-calf, so you know, you could step out with hairy legs and it'd be all right. It's just a little bit too big up here, like I want it to sit on my waist, but it almost wants to be higher than that, so I'm kind of like having to pull it down a bit and like fold it over and yeah, but no biggie, I really like this. I just love the print. I think the print is so beautiful. This, you could definitely dress this up or down so easily, proper versatile piece. I'm into it. We have one more piece and then we're done. This is our last piece, again, it's knitwear. I've just took it out of the bag and again, it, it feels like the jumper, like the really soft jumper. I got this in a 22 slash 24 again and it's a cardigan, so it's just gray. Oh my goodness, that is soft. I feel like this is a look. Like I don't really, this is my kind of style, but I feel like this is a look. I feel like this is like art teacher realness. Don't you? I love this. This is just a cardigan. Again, it's very oversized. I really like how this fits me because with some cardigans, like they're just a bit tight and a bit like, ugh, and they don't look right if they're not oversized. So again, it's that fleecy, woolly, super soft material got some slits here which i like add a bit more shape to it yeah this is really 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 cute i will definitely be wearing this this winter again it's very oversized which is what you want in knitwear we've got a test today children i just feel like a teacher i love it i love it i love it i love it i love the color as well it's like this gray blue kind of color really really pretty the arms are also very big Again, it's kind of like a bat wing, but I'm into it. My battery's flashing. Let's wrap this up. That 
was everything that I had to show you guys today from Pink Clove. Thank you again to Pink Clove for sponsoring this video. And I feel like I gave you my honest, honest opinion. Some of the things didn't fit. I feel like the sizing is a little bit small. So I would say in certain things, you might want to size up if they have it. But certain things, the stretch was very good. I really love this skirt. I think my favorite pieces were probably the black trousers if they didn't have the hole in. This skirt and the jumpsuit, definitely. And this cardigan. They're my favorite bits. So, I hope you love this video. I'll see you very soon, basically. I'll see you soon with another video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you're subscribed if you're not already. Okay, love you all. Goodbye, follow me on Instagram, you know, trying to get your gal up to bloody 100K or whatever. Okay, love you all. Bye. Also, I'm just waiting because I'm waiting for you to click the subscribe button because I know that you're just still watching this and you're not subscribed, so just click the subscribe button, you know? I know you want to be here, I know you want to watch the next video. So, bye.